He was always vocal, but he never whispered. It took a while for me to just get over how he looks, which it turns out he doesn't look all that strange, but he doesn't look like the others most of the time. He has three legs, and the others have four, and he doesn't have hair. He's been following me a lot more recently, too. He's been acting differently for a while, too, and smells different even before we went to the vet. When we went, I couldn't really understand what the doctor was saying. The words were new to me, and I just wanted to get out of there. I wasn't understanding any of it, but while we were there, you could tell he wasn't doing good. He looked rough, and since then, it seems he's been getting worse. He walks around the house faster. He even slams the doors, and barks violently. It's only one-off barks, too. It's not like a car ran by or anything. He's been eating less, too. I used to watch him eat all the time, because sometimes he drops some of his food, and once it's on the ground, he doesn't touch it. That was the weirdest thing to me, too. Not only does he walk on two legs, which I just chalked up to him having only three, but he doesn't eat all his food when he gets any. So naturally, if he drops any, I'll eat it for him. We don't play at all anymore. Sometimes we go outside, but not as much. And when we do, the people outside watch us when we walk by. He cries a lot too, and if I try to make him feel better, he hits me, so now I'm scared to get close to him, and I'd rather live somewhere else. He can still use his leash on me, so I'd like to get this collar off. It still has his scent on it, and I don't want him to use that to his advantage when he comes looking for me when I escape. I just need him to take me outside one more time and I'm gone. I'll get a new pet, but for now, he just walks around the house and whispers.